For nearly 50 years, Caritas Jerusalem has helped the Palestinian population in the West Bank, the Gaza Strip, and East Jerusalem. The group's current leader said that the challenges today are as difficult as ever. Uh, actually, we are in a total and uh, continuous uh, situation of emergency. So the first need for us is peace and reconciliation. So our uh, own uh, appeal is that uh, the international community should uh, intervene and help both sides, Israelis and Palestinians, to resolve this conflict. However, with the resolution still far away, Caritas is busy providing a wide variety of services for the citizens of the region, as people's daily needs are increasing. Now we are working in many sectors, especially in uh, uh, social uh, uh, relief services, uh, medical uh, primary health services, microcredits, youth and development. And we are corresponding also to the uh, emergencies in the uh, region. Life is especially difficult for Christians in the region. He said that it is important to encourage the small Christian community to remain in the Holy Land. So the first uh, challenge is how and what to do to encourage these people to remain in the Holy Land. Because the first challenge is that all of these people would like to go abroad. But more than just keeping Christians in the Holy Land, he suggested that Christians from throughout the world could make an even more profound gesture. We call upon all our brothers and sisters in Europe, in the whole world, to come to the Holy Land, return to the roots of your faith. So the return of appeals, come, don't be afraid to come, come in big numbers, tell others to come, and don't leave us alone. If more Christians move to the Holy Land, the Caritas director believes it would be a strong sign of solidarity that would promote peace in a region that has long needed it.